Bernard never allowed himself to be restricted by the recalcitrance of glass. He was commissioned to make a tower of glass 40 meters high, a huge operation. He even took the initiative to create a ring of bells in the tower, bells of crystal glass. But one wonders whether it's possible to actually play the new musical instrument. The first trial versions of the bells were blown into outer horn. Experts tested their sound at the Koninklijke IJsbout Bell Foundry. There's a lot of sound. There's a lot of in the tone. There are few places where teamwork is so essential as in the creating of a work of art in glass. People work together in great harmony in the glass factory, and craftsmanship is essential to complete this enormous challenge. Great concentration is needed for an achievement like this. Nothing can be allowed to go wrong. Klein beetje hoor, klein beetje, klein beetje. Jee, wat warm joh. Kom maar. Nou, even wachten, niet te ver op hoor. Keep on turning, keep on turning, keep on turning. I know, I know, I know. Almost there. Turn, turn. Okay, we got it. Slowly. One centimeter. Oh shit, no! Good, got on now here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In the end, Bernard blew 1,125 bells of different sizes, 50 of which were suitable for a ring of bells that was perfectly in tune. One by one, 900 hand-blown balls were installed into the steel construction of the tower. The peal of bells had such a unique sound that bell ringers have written completely new compositions for it. The impossible has been achieved. In order to celebrate this huge triumph, the Leerdam glassblowers came together to create a sculpture, a symbol for the power of their cooperation. Okay, you 
jongens. Stop! En Oost, genoeg! Dank u wel. Ik denk dat laat zich, als ik de plaatjes zie van de dingen die mijn vader gemaakt heeft, dat het toch iets, iets meer een poging was tot vormdinges. Iets organiseren. Maar eigenlijk vind ik dit veel mooier. <laughs> A miracle has been done.